Hello and welcome to the stream. This is Father Jack and we're back on our usual Saturday night pub sim. I'm hoping that I don't know what that is. Um I'm hoping Fusion Distress is going to join us. Um but we'll wait and see. I'm swing for to join the VC, but um We'll see how we we'll go. Right, I need to power field, cultivate it, soak with some seeds, and um, roll it. So let's get this dump somewhere. I'll put the, the big um, head of the combine of the harvester out of the trail over there. There we go. Jobs are good. So, dump that. Uh, leave that there for a sec. Go over to there's a combine. Oops, over there. Put this big header on that trailer. Gonna put some fusions asses to put some um some flowers. So let's hope I do it properly. Oh. Too far. Oh, will you straighten things up, you moron? That's better. Too far. Right, let's dump this up. Dump this somewhere. Put the straps on that header so it does not fall off. And then we'll get to ploughing. Uh, there's an extra. There it is. Right, where's my tractor at? Breeze. Let's go and get this big plow. And we'll plow that field. Get it cultivated. There it's seeded, roll it, and that'll be it. Evening. Good evening, Fusion. How are you, sir? Good, thank you. How are you, yourself? I'm alive. <laughs> I'm just plowing that. Sorry, sorry. You just have to bear with me for a sec. No worries, it's plenty of time. I'm just plow, starting to plough that field. Okay. Uh, 
I've done that the right way. No, you haven't, you dumbass. I had a right struggle trying to join the server though. Why's that? I don't know, it just wouldn't join, so I had to restart it. Right pain in the ass. Oh, oh. I, um, they come up on the list. It does now, yeah. I think. I, um, I just needed one mod. Alright. I forgot you told me about. Alright, that one. The fruit storage. And yeah. Let's get flowered. What's that? Oh, I'll do. It's a close spot. Did I, I put it on the, the FTP box? I yeah, I've, got, I've got it, I've installed it, but it's not recognising it. Yeah. Yeah. It's alright, I'll just keep trying. I'll be there when I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> the millions and millions of fans have missed you. Oh, what? <laughs> the million and six. The million and six, yeah, or million and two, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap, I can't drive straight for freaking talking. I always get the small plough out of one of them bits. Sometimes it gets sad, you know, I crawl. Saying I haven't installed this bloody thing. I'll oh, just smack it with a hammer. Always works. Oh, as long as it's not the wasn't the band hammer. storage. I've installed it, but it won't.
That just feels freaking huge. I know it's not the one I created. Oh. <laughs> this is just a pre built one. All right. I think pretty cold fields left this morning. A oh, good morning, Warwick. Yeah. Freaking cold. All right. Cheers, Sylvan. I think you pushed. Oh yeah, he's been calling you up and saying, look, yeah, resign, we'll sack you. Yeah. And I've, I've just... It's all like that argument with Polly. Is that about? I don't know. Because Bill didn't tell her that he knew about um, his brother being a nonce. Oh. oh. I should have fucking strung that bastard up by fucking knackers. Dirty his bastard. Him before everything come out. But rather than acting on it and going to the police, he did nothing. He kept quiet, and obviously Holly's got kids, yeah. so you can see where she's coming from. Yeah. I've got this funny feeling that something's going to come out in the press about him. Yeah. That, and young boys. I would not be surprised. I'll get this into work there. Oh, well. Uh, I don't. Is it coming away there? Is that just said sort of? Saying unavailable, even though I've installed it. Uh, that's just pants. Yeah. So you can't go on? That kind of sucks. I just validated the game as well because I thought it might be an issue with the game, but it's not. Ah. Uh. Let's see. Oh. Oh. I wonder if it's been updated. Was it? I'm saying I, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just guessing. No, it's, it's the same version. Is this all right, fair enough? Yes, yeah, one one triple zero. It's the same version. No, I'm just clutching the straws and put it in my mods folder. But um, just telling me it's not available. Ah, it's just bollocks. Does that mean you can't join? Yeah, at the moment. Oh, these million and six. Viewers are going to be so disappointed. Where do we get the sticks from? Ooh, ah, there's a question. You know, you said there's one cockerel for five hens. Yeah. How many rams per sheep? Uh, one per ten. One per ten, and for cows? Uh, one for five again. Wow. Lucky bastards. Yeah, they're all Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus.
Are they just storage pens for the potatoes and the sugar beets then? The one at that mod? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, because there's a, a similar one on Mod Hub through the game. Really? Mm. I don't know where I downloaded that one from. The in game downloadable content. Alright. So that's just no way to store that kind of stuff. Yeah, I know. Yes, earth, earth storage thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's one on the. One of the um, in game mods thing. There's one of them. Similar. Bring it up on Google why it's why it's not showing. Just bollocks. Yeah. Yeah. So, I kind of joined up. Ah. But we need your expertise. We need the brains of the freaking business. The organ grader, not the monkey. <laughs> I'm gonna well, I, I'm, I know for certain that next week I finish at seven and I'll be home for eight. Ah, you'll be knackered off work. Ah, no, I've got an easy day next Saturday, believe me. All right. All right, because you organised the roast, rotors, didn't you? Sorry? Is, is that the week you organised the rotors? Done it. I've already done them. Done it yesterday. <laughs> well, I'll leave you in the capable hands of my wife for a minute. Oh no, I should get abused now. Well, alright, semi capable. She's gone all shy on me, which is not like Mrs. F. Hello, you're right. There we go, there's the friggin'. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm well, how are you? Yeah, I'm not bad, sir. Done. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I'm not too bad. How many bottles of wine you had tonight then? Uh, none. Wow, fuck off. Being serious, I'm on my best behaviour. Wow. Yeah. Um. I'm doing all right. I'm fine. Did that wifey get home all right last night? Yeah. Yeah, she got home all right. All right. I did um message her to say, look, I'd rather you called us than get in a taxi. Yeah. But I think um one of her friend's husbands dropped them all home. All right, fair enough. So I was like, yeah, no, fine. And then ended up going shopping with her this morning. Did you have a hangover? No, which I'm really shocked about. Because she was a bit pissed yeah. last night, wasn't she? she? She was very much on the piss. And I'm like, hold on a minute. Are you a fucking alien? How can you not have a hangover? Yeah. 
She must be one of the lucky people like me. Yeah, tell me about it. But I don't think she's hit that age barrier. <laughs> when you get over a certain age, every drink you fucking feel the following day. So I, I still haven't hit that age barrier yet. But I've had... But... Believe me, I, I feel like I have. Wow. But then that could be because it's coupled with my medication. Possibly, yeah. Because I'm on painkillers and stuff, and painkillers amplify it, don't they? I wondered before they took it to download it for him. See, I've had 40 years worth of practice of drinking. Sorry, say that again, Jack. I've had 40 years worth of practice. Well, clearly. <laughs> I'm a bit of a seasoned pro. You know, it makes me laugh when you when you pick up a prescription, especially like a painkillers or antibiotics and stuff. It says, "Don't drink these tablets." Yeah, right, yeah. love. Fucking bite me. <laughs> yeah, you know that's so true. Fuck's sake. <laughs> it depends how many I've taken, because obviously some days are better than others. If I haven't taken as many painkillers that day as I normally would take I should be okay but if I've taken obviously an extra couple or whatever then my, my back playing up um, uh, believe me I'll be it the day <laughs> I don't think anybody takes that advice you don't fucking drink no they don't the only thing I worry about when it comes to drugs is driving yeah. Yeah. That's one thing I won't do, and that's drive while I'm on medication. I shouldn't be driving. See, I've got tramadol here. Wow, that's pretty strong. And, and that's some good shit right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've got a few of those, <clears throat> but I am skeptical about taking them because I don't know how I'm going to be the following day. You'll be all right. Oh, for driving, yeah. So it makes me wonder, you know, when you, the copper stops you and he does that friggin' blow to this fucking tube blotty, yeah. and then the, the swab, you to test you for friggin' drugs. The strong yeah. painkillers like Tramadol and stuff like that. They come up on the test. Do they? Yeah. So it's gonna fucking get nicked anyway. Yeah. That's just bollocks. It is, it's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, yeah, so things like tramadol or um, pregabalin. Ooh, that's a fucking half decent pink colour there. Mm -hmm. Rich was on those when <laughs> you were off with your back. What's that? Pregabalin. Oh, yeah. It's a good bit of I... fucking stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I've not got to that stage yet. Yeah. Ooh. There's a job come up at Go North East. What are you not? What you get it? Classroom and on road instructor, Riverside Depot, Gateshead. How much? <laughs> Sorry? How much is the salary? Hang on, let's have a look. The salary will be discussed at interview. In other words, it's going to be fucking pe pennies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, if it's anything to go by the scheduler job that they had. Freaking take yeah. bastards up here. Yeah, the geezer that left was on 50k a year. When they put the, the advert out, it dropped down to 37. Wow. <laughs> For one cheap ass bastard. <laughs> they want you to do the same job. That's... But 13k a year less. Making the pin. That's go northeast for you. Yeah, as guy as go ahead in a general, <laughs> it doesn't have to be northeast. It does not surprise me in the slightest. Uh, and they wonder why they can't keep staff. Yeah, exactly. Pay them what they're worth, man. But fifty k years yeah, quite. Half decent salary up here. Yeah. 
It's usually in the oh, twenties. No, Fifty-three was down here. That was down oh, here. Oh, sorry. All oh, right, I thought the gate head one. So that'll probably be forty up there. No, it'll be less than that. <laughs> the wind just can't be that bad up there. Uh, between twenty and thirty k a year, more salaries. Standard bus driver up there? Well, I don't know. Because down here it's about 25. Oh. 25, 27? Be a lot less up here then. That's just doing basic hours, not overtime, obviously. Uh, be a lot less down here. Up here. Probably about 20k up here, I would have thought. I don't know. Really? You're doing exactly the same fucking job? Yeah, but it depends on the area. The area, because... As well. That's shocking. In Manchester and that, they pay really crap. They pay pounds. I mean, you look, you look at me, I'm on 13 pounds an hour. Here are 1160. Yeah. 1160. And that's just going to Norfolk. Wow. Because the, the price of food's cheaper up here. Yeah, cost of living is different, isn't it? Well, yeah, of course it is. Yeah. So. Yeah, I tell you what, I was talking to the wifey next door this morning. You know what the fucking cheeky bitch said? You need to lose a bit of weight, don't you? I thought you cheeky fucking cow. Oh, jeez. That's a bit fucking below the belt, literally. Oh, cheeky bitch. Wow. Well, no, she was talking about Bobby's belt. <laughs> <laughs> well, you cheeky fucking cow. Bend over. I'll fucking yeah. slap your ass. Cheeky fuck it. Well, I'm still plowing this field, boss. Okay. Okay. Still plowing. How big yeah. is this field? It's fucking huge. I didn't even create this fucking thing. It's a preset one. So I'm going to watch a the YouTube thing tomorrow about which is the best sheep and cows and chickens to buy. Save Hassan you with the questions. The in the case of the animals, it's always good to buy a few of the older ones, and then um, a similar number of the younger ones, and then obviously you start doing your production with the older. And then as they get older and older, they, they die off. Do they? And then the younger ones obviously grow up. So how would you know if a sheep's died or an animal's died? Well, generally they won't wake up. <laughs> well, I walked into that fucking one, didn't I? <laughs> so they like, you go into the field and they're just lying there fucking dead. Uh, to be fair, I've never... Not that far. All oh, right. I don't know whether they just keel over and there's a load of fucking goo coming out of them. I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Oh, well, I can't actually play this game. Wow. Do you work tomorrow? Uh, no, no, it's my first weekend off for a while. 
pulled out my wallet. Uh, it, it pulled me up at half past seven this morning, saying that um, one of the other drivers called in sick. And can I go in and finish the duty? And I'm like, no. Fuck off. <laughs> Twats. Fuck's sake. And then called me back. Called me back, what, 10 minutes later? Yeah. Yeah, 10 or 15 minutes later. And then offered me more hours so they'd pay me extra to come in and do it. I'm still like, no. <laughs> Oh, just take the piss. No, 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 no. It's a piss take. Jesus Christ. Christ, if somebody ran me at freaking half seven in the morning, the language would be severe. And this is a woman, of course. That was okay. Hers was severe. <laughs> oh, bad it was. <laughs> I never knew her favourite colour was blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. How sexy Sandra these days. Living the dream. Yeah. Is she? What's going on you fella? Oh, that's a sore point right now. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> very, very sore point. Well, I killed that conversation. Yeah. <laughs> she met a geek. Right. She She's known him for about four years. They've been talking on and off for four years. Anyway, they decided to give it a go. Bad mistake. Yeah, a couple of months ago. And every time he has stayed over here, he has belittled her. He has made her feel like shit. Um, got her drunk. Got her, gets her drunk every fucking time. Um generally treating her like total dog shit. Well, he needs to be kicking a touch. And he kept... Look, the first argument was over a fucking remote control because he couldn't get the remote control to work. But when she managed to do it, he fucking went off on one because he started spouting alpha male shit. What? Yeah. Yeah. Saying that he should have been the one to fix it, he should have been this, he should have been that, and she's like, I live on my fucking own with my kid. Exactly, does he fucking uh, ass? If I can't, if, what would I do if you weren't fucking here? Shut up, you prick, <laughs> and all of this. Anyway, they split over that. Then they got back together. <laughs> after all, I've done it, you dickhead. It's right in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, Todd. Yeah, so I'm gonna phone them, so. Um, yeah, then they get. <clears throat> yeah, then they go back together, and then he can't be on being a complete dickhead. Um, so they split again. Then they got back together this last time, and then was it last weekend? Yeah. Yeah, last weekend. Um, it finally dawned on her that he's a first-class knobhead. Um, he's, got n he's got no plans to include uh, her daughter in them. He wants to live in just the bubble of him and her. And um, yeah. that every time he comes, uh, she's got to ship her daughter off elsewhere. Uh, no. That's um, wrong. And the, the, the icing with the cherry on top was when she told him, oh, by the way, I'm going on holiday with my best friend, her husband and kids in October. And he turned around and said, no, you're not. I hope you've told them you're not going. Wow. To which, to which she turned around and went, fucking out. I am going, whether you like it or not. And he got the fucking up with her about it and um, was a complete arse to her, basically. Well, I hope she's kicked him at the touch. It's me. She's kicked him to the fucking <laughs> curb, mate. She's told him to go fuck himself. She does right. Just wait, Lily. And, um, yeah, she's kicked him to the curb. And then it transpires. She went 
when was it? Yesterday. Yeah, she happened to just go on to a certain dating app just to see whether he was on there or not. And bingo, he's on there. Wow. Under a different name, with a different birthday, and all of the photos that he's put up are all of the photos he sent her. Wow. This guy so, sounds like a predator. Yeah. Oh, I can think of other names, but yeah. I'll be polite. <laughs> that's strange. That's just, I don't know, something all right there. Nope. You're going to the opticians tomorrow. You're not going on holiday, you dick. Oh, silly, silly Oscar. <laughs> Is that a silly Billy Oscar? Yeah. <laughs> Don't start, Oscar, because I'm not in the mood for your shit. Yeah. Please don't use the coat hanger. You don't need the coat hanger to be a gun. Um, yeah, so she's just really angry with herself at the moment for feeling fooled and had the wall pulled uh, over her eyes and shit. Give her my number, I'll sort her out. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet you me first. <laughs> What's up, me, me first? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah. But I've, I've always said to her, she deserves a hundred times better. Yes. And if I'd have realised exactly what was going on, because she didn't tell me, um, because she felt too ashamed and embarrassed to tell me. Um, until recently. And I said, if I'd have known, I'd have been strapped and said, not a fucking through the bastard over the balcony. Cheeky fucker. You don't get away with treating someone like that. Of course you don't. And, They'd only been, they've been on and off for a couple of months. You're meant to be in the fucking honeymoon period for fuck's sake still. Exactly, for the first few months anyway. Exactly. I said, that's ridiculous. I said, he basically wanted you to sit at home on your Jack Jones, waiting for him to jump. Exactly. Say, oh, I'm coming or I'm doing this or we're doing that. You're not allowed to have any life, no friends. You can't talk to anyone, do anything while he's not here. Or when he is here. Yeah, well. Good you riddance to bad rubbish. Her, what, sorry? Day, mm -hmm. After what the regional manager said. When I run her that day and I was in mm -hmm. tears crying, he got the fucking hump because I called Sandra. Mm. Oh. While he was there. Oh, Christ, what a control freak. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> she turned around, because he turned around and said, I hope you're not going to fucking answer that. <laughs> when wow. My best friend never calls me when you're here, because it's just a little agreement. She's always said that it's my time with you. But if, I, if she's calling me while What's you're here... That? It's for a bloody good reason. What Don't really care, Oscar. Go away. <laughs> Where's the yeah, call, Paul? If I call her, it, yeah. it's for a really good reason. And she said, I am not going to ignore her just to please you. Uh, it sound, sounds like you need to slap. Don't need just. I turned around to Sandra and said, well, let's face it, you dodged a fucking huge bullet there then, huh? Yeah. Certainly has. I was taking 43 minutes just to plough this fucking field. I'm still not finished. Service having a meltdown now. It's dead laggy. It's uh, your ping rapid massive. 2000 drop frames so far. 
Jeez. Ah. So this be a bit jerky. Unless it's a tint that I've dropped in those frames. Mm, possibly. Just yeah. keep an eye on. Oh, another thing, Jack, about him. You know, obviously, her daughter's diabetic. <clears throat> yeah. Look at Pete. Right. Oscar, come here. Oscar, oh, Lily, shut up. Shut up, Lily. Yeah, Jack. Sandra's daughter is diabetic. Yeah. Right. While he was here, Sandra had to take her to hospital. Yeah. He got the fucking arse hate about her taking her daughter to hospital. Why? Because it meant he wouldn't spend the time with her. Oh, what a fucking arse. And when Sandra finally got back from the hospital, he didn't even ask if Lily was okay and everything was alright. Wow. I just like, well, it's clear that Lily is not included in his plans. No. What a dick. The camera. Fucking arse, Narcissist. I was thinking of a stronger word, but I can't say it on stream. Mm. You know which word I was going to say? Uh, let's say your next Tuesday word. <clears throat> yeah, of course. Uh, I still don't yeah, understand yeah. blokes' mentality like that. Dump him, his kid. Dump a kid. Let's roll. I just do not understand people like that. I don't think I ever will. Hmm. She's better off well, well, she's well better off without Oh, her. yeah, definitely. She's going to try and control her that much. Oh. Luckily, like, although he knows she takes medication, he has no idea what for, because she never got round to telling him. All right. But he still encouraged her to drink. Heavily. I rung her at two o'clock on a Friday afternoon, and she was absolutely on her ass. Really? Slurring the lot. Wow. She had only started drinking at midday. Jesus. And I was like, holy shit. It was coming to the point that me and Beth um, upstairs were going to have an intervention with her. So... Because he was clearly affecting her health. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because her tablets won't work the way they should. I mean, she was on some hefty medication. <coughs> I mean, Christ, the woman goes through a bottle of oil more for a week. <coughs> There's some drugs. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Bottle of oil more for a week. She drinks it like it's water. Thank <laughs> you. 
Excuse me. Straighten up the heel. Shit. <clears throat> Get the little plow now. <coughs> Finish off the little edgy bits. Uh, it neutralized. Oh. oh, come on, it just freaking work, will you? Thank you. Go and clean me tool. <laughs> no, <I'm> going. <laughs> oh, all right, I'm going. Look, I'm fucking way in there. That's not good. Well, that took 51 minutes that slam finish. Where's my phone? Don't worry, one. No. Oh, sorry. It's got a wrench in the shirt. Why are you Why are you Sorry. Give this a quick wash. Make sure you're getting all nuts and crannies. But I have noticed when you use a jet washer thing, you just have to yep. clean a bit of a wheel and the whole tractor gets cleaned. Yep. I never knew that before because I was just freaking going around take 10 minutes washing a freaking thing. Uh, it takes about 30 seconds. I uh, know, well, I'll freaking work that out eventually. Target new. Yep, is that job done? Dump the sauce. Excuse me. Turn, 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 turn. turn. Like you. So what have been like yours today? It's not been bad, has it? It's been fucking red hot here. Been t-shirt weather here? Yeah? Oh, it's been man bikini weather here. <laughs> That's the thought I'd rather not think about, thanks. Uh, God help us all. <laughs> Farmer Jack in a Borat bikini, I don't think I could deal with that. Man mankini. Mankini, yeah. Uh, Either that or his leopard, leopard cracks out his leopard print thong. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh dear. God help, us. God help the ladies. <laughs> that court trips to mind just to see that. My lot full. Cultivator. Oh no, I don't know what the freaking small plow, don't they? I can have that thing out. There it is. Oh man, turn the right way with you. I could not head.
Hold up. Let's go plowing. Get all out of the... I'll have a good plow, I'll do. Lucky bastard. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, because it wants you to pay for it, and it ain't happening. Because you download too many games that want you to pay for extra shit. I have to pay for stuff like Minecraft and all that rubbish. I, if you want add-ons. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and... Don't go into the Roblox thing because that's a whole new bloody ball game. That's... They keep bugging me to pay for what they call Robux. And you can go and buy extra bits and skins and stuff with it, apparently. And how buy stuff on there. But what I later found out was you could go and buy all that shit. Someone can come along on the game, look at you. Nick all your shit and you've lost the lot. Wow. Yeah. Hopefully. You have, so basically, you could spend 10, 20 quid on Robux, go and buy a load of shit, someone comes along, nicks the lot, and you're left with fuck all. Wow. Uh, so I am like, you are not having Robux. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Neither of you. <laughs> not going to happen. It's so good. I'd rather spend a tenner on bingo. At least you've got the chance of winning something. Oh, don't get me going about that freaking thing. <laughs> have, I, have I unleashed the devil? Yeah. Oh, no. Even deposited. I thought the minimum deposit was ten quid. Eh, uh, five quid. Oh, the bastards. That's the only fucking sneaky bastard thing about it. So I put 20 quid on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, he's just had a fucking... Well, he's just set off a party cannon here, because he's like, that means I've got £20 bonus money. Way! Uh, but I played the, the 10 pence game one. Yeah. Take ass. Slam the fucking one I didn't get. Robbing bastards. Well, I won t two lots last night. I won a 23 and a 29 pound. Nice. Um, well, that was quite nice. But I haven't had any wins yet today. But then I've not been allowed to have my phone for longer than five minutes at a time, which is a little bit difficult. Oh, Stuart. Because you well, you as well know that the minute I have my phone for five seconds, Lily throws a shit fit because she wants it, <laughs> and then I just have to give it to her to get peace regain. Otherwise, it's like a bloody air raid siren going off. No, oh, you should have crossed your fucking legs. That's all I can see. Oh, I'll tell you about it. I'll do something else. Which is difficult. Take time for a father. Oh, shut up. <laughs> That's you, Todd. After I've ploughed it, do I need to cultivate it or can I just seed it straight away? Should be able to just seed it straight away, depending on what you're using. Um, you're seeding. Sunflowers. Yeah, you should be able to. I don't have to be freaking seeding. Uh, look at it, this fucking field. Oh, the words. I 
was wishing Steve would come on VC because so I was going to have a go. Oh, he's out, isn't he? Yeah, caught himself a fucking football fan. Fucking no. vital fucking game, and he has to go out. Fuck off. Be a man. Fucking grow up here. <clears throat> or in his case, too, because he's destroyed. Yeah, <laughs> fucking. Okay. Did you see what I put on his uh, comment? Which one? He said he was going out. I had to put the fish sign and then water. I was like, blank <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear me. See, Brad has never replied to our comments last night. She is taking the piss, she really is. Oh, isn't she just? Oh. She sees him as a fucking bank, clearly. Yeah, he's got a freaking... Yeah, I thought, but I thought she was paying to take him to all these concerts and hotels. That's what I thought as well. So... so mm, read into that situation that little bit more, you think, hang on a minute. So either he's full of shit, or she's full of shit, one of the two. Yeah. So... Uh... Oh, where are you going, Jack? Where are you going, you pissing? I don't know where he finds these people. Oh. But he's very easily manipulated, clearly. Yeah, he needs a fucking grow up here as well. I was tempted to ask him if I could borrow a tenner, but I thought, no, that's pushing my luck there. Oh! Shall we? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Could you imagine it? <laughs> That's a bit. You know me, ever the diplomat and all that shit. Uh, I might ask the same question. I was so tempted. I was like. Mm. You should have, you should have, Mrs. F. You should have. Oh man, what are you doing, you dick? I'll wait till it's brought up again. And then I'll slip uh, and then I'll go in with it, I think. <laughs> Just for the laughs, really, because you know what I'm like. You'd probably take offence to it, I think. Right, two little bits left to do. Stop, 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 stop. Is there a way around that mod? No. What, just removing it? And then it'll work. I removed it, don't worry. Huh? I forget the equivalent. Oh, okay. okay. Unless I just taken off the server altogether. Well, you could do. I mean, so they won't take that mod off. It was only stole potatoes, wasn't it? Can you not just dump them in a pile? Uh, straight up, straight up, straight up. That done. Just a split in the middle now. Job sorted. Oh, 
We've had this problem once before though, haven't we? Yeah. What time is it? Oh, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, yeah. And it's yeah, still yeah. daylight. Yeah, it's been a lovely day, though. Yeah, it's been nice and warm here as well. So you did some gardening. What, sorry? Yeah. You had your washing out as well, didn't you? Yeah. Well, I got you out at 6 o'clock this morning. 7 o'clock. It's up at 5. Put the, strip the bed. Put it in the washer. Cough me lungs up. A lot of smoke. Off and up again. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be breathless at six. I fucked about on here for an hour. And did some housework. And then... Had an ice cream. And did some gardening. Nice. A freaking exciting life, are you there? Well, I just potted around a bit. I got up half six. Took me meds and everything. And then went and sat with Rich. For a little while, then quick shower, straight to Tesco's, go and pick up the shopping, and then Euro car parts as well. Think, really? Really? Come home and chill, really. I've done a couple of loads of washing in that as well. Ah, uh, it's housewives of never done, is it? Tell me about it. <laughs> I think the fact that I've been, I do washing throughout the week now rather than letting it mount up to the weekend kind of helps. So otherwise, I'd be doing five loads of washing over a weekend. Wow. Look at that for a game of soldiers. Well, the kids have a set of school clothes for every day of the week. Yeah. So that way I don't have to around. So I know they've always got at least one set clean. Right. And they're off. They're off again. Oh. This is where I fuck things up. I wonder if I could sprinkle some tramadol with milk, feed it, but... Oh dear. I wonder if it'll make them steam. Yeah, let's give them cowpole. Cow, yeah, cowpole the fuckers up. Uh, wrong way, wrong way. Let's... Someone told me that Puritan syrup had the same effect. Oh, really? Yeah. 
Yeah. Thought that was for hair fever. Yeah, and allergies and stuff like that, keratin syrup. Um, and also, it good for chicken pox. Oh. Ooh. So, like, when Lily, ha Lily and Oscar had the chicken pox, rather than using the old calamine lotion, um, I gave them cow pole and then a dose of puritan. And it worked well. Yeah. Uh, well, well stop itching so much. Because I find calamine lotion just makes a fucking mess. They still make that stuff. Sorry? They still make that stuff. Yeah. Uh, it? it wasn't last year. It was year before. year before, maybe year before that. There was a massive fucking shortage of it because there was such a huge outbreak of chicken pox that people were buying it up as fast as it was going on the shelves. Yeah. Yeah, it was that bad that where in boots and that you'd get it for like one fifty two pound a bottle, people were selling it at stupid money. They were buying it up in bulk to make money. Uh, so as soon as I saw a bottle of it go up, oh, I snapped that up and I kept it for years. Because they'd just started nursery and I thought, right, I'll, uh, at least I know I've got some by me. But then I found the Puritan trick and I didn't really need it. Oops. But, I mean, Lily had it a hell of a lot worse than Oscar had it. Oh, fuck. Come on, Trapper, you can do it. There we go. Where do I get the sunflower seeds from? Uh, this, this, the, um... Hello, Wilkinson. Oh, create yourself again. What? <laughs> um, sunflower seeds are in the seed distribution thing. It's the one with the, all the pallets, and, but no drums. That's what I thought. You know, in, you know in front of the farmhouse, yeah. It, when you press Y to change to the right seed, it says grass, wheat, barley, oats, canolas, soya beans, shogans, oilseed, radish, radish. But it just doesn't say sunflowers. Hmm. Try that one again. Oh. Uh. So what that Pallet next to where the multi fruit thing is. Yeah. And then the one opposite the the farmhouse. Uh that's exactly the same. So I don't know what to do. Oh, um, are you using the right tool? 
<laughs> That's what she said. Um, I'm using the... Ah, right. Well spotted, young man. I've probably got the wrong friggin' cedar, haven't I? Possibly. Which cedar do I need to use? I've, used, I've hooked up that one that comes with a fertiliser as well. Alright. Is that the wrong one? It's green. If that makes any difference. <laughs> I think I need to be using the blue one. Drop that there. Let's go and pick the blue cedar up. And we'll give that a try. Uh, I'll let the right fucking end, wouldn't it? I'm not supposed to be fucking connecting this up too. Oh. So I was at the right freaking end to start with, you numb nuts. Hey, if I had a brain something out, it'd be dangerous. Let's go. Let's go and try it again. Uh, and take them off. There we go. Oh, you yeah, were right. I was using the wrong freaking tool. Uh, how do I fill it up? Uh, I thought it was art to fill, fill it up. It is. Uh, but not all listed. Sorry, got some flower seeds already in it. All right, must have some flowers already in it. Now I can just go to the multi fruit and get the fertilizer, can't I? Yeah. I remember right. The grasshopper's learning well. Turn your bitch turn. Right, start filling. Right, well that's filled. And now I'm stuck. I'm 
Not now. Uh, and of course the freaking thingies. Uh, he has me going to make a right arse of this, isn't it? Uh, old X. There we go. That's got a fucking big spreader thing on this, hasn't it? Uh, drive down this way. Uh, well, I'm like a chocolate fire god sometimes. lower it and beep to the bitch on oh look what are you doing you freaking numb nuts there we go we'll not take like the freaking saw this field then Nice and easy peasy. Oh, I'm just turn you, freaking son of a bitch. There we go. Turn, turn, turn. Hey. So do you think our oh, tattle buy big in the summer? Sorry, say that again. Yeah, Just, possibly. Yeah. Wonder how much. <clears throat> well, apparently Jack is going. Um, a couple of others going. Trying to build up a couple of hundred million, apparently. It's going to hit, it's going to hit that everywhere. Is 
Is it still the is it the Cronias or whatever they're freaking called? Conkeys. Ah, yeah. they still own it. Yeah. Mainly the sun at the moment. Alright. Oh, I can't wait to get to bed tonight. Oh, really? <laughs> no, get your mind out the gutter. Um, I love fresh bed, fresh bed in it. Exactly. Oh, it's, a, it's better than having sex. It really is. It's fucking oh, unreal. Fun. Just lie there and think, oh, yes, and the smell and... Yeah. Because I haven't been sitting there for a week with no farts and stuff. It's freaking lovely. Yeah. I get you. It's, uh, I feel like buying that food because it's all ready to freaking... What are you doing, dick? It's all ready to harvest that next field along, I think. And my hot tub gets set up in a couple of weeks. Nice. So the, definitely the freaking man keen will be up with that one. <laughs> I'll have to send some pics. <laughs> Put them in gibberish. <laughs> the best I can do is I've got a paddling pole. <laughs> it did not. It's actually. It's not a paddling pool, it's fucking quite big. It's about, what, six foot by four foot? Wow, it's quite big, that. <laughs> yeah, that goes out in our back garden. On the patio for the kids. I think it costs, Sandra bought it for the kids as a treat last year. All right. I fucked up. I went and bought a paddling pool and I was like, yeah, I've got a right bargain here. I paid three quid for this at Tesco's. It wasn't until I went to set it up, I realised, um, yeah, it's 90 centimetres by a <laughs> Oh, God, I couldn't get my fucking fat ass into that. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> I was like, fuck. You're lucky if you can get one baby in it. And I was like, ah, oh, shit. And um, yeah, it wasn't a paddle in port, it was a puddle. It was a puddle, yeah. Puddle. <laughs> so, yeah, Sandra, and this was like literally as all of the paddling pools everywhere were selling out as fast as they come into stock. And she happened to go into Argos. All and right. they had this one that was uh, on offer, should have been 30 quid, dropped down to 25. And it was in stock, and she's like, fuck it, I'm buying it for the kids' bollocks. Exactly. And I said, well, right, well, as you spent that much, normally I'd buy a pool and throw it away and get a new one the following year. Yeah. Rather than trying to dry it out, clean it up, put it away, and all of that shit. Um, I, uh, I said, right, now I'll put this one away, because obviously 25 quid's a lot of money. On a paddling pole, realistically. It's, uh, it's a decent so, size um, one as well. The decent size, so I'll get it out. I'll give it a proper clean, and then fill it up. And then when it comes to um, refilling it and stuff, hopefully I won't have to do it as often as I did last year, because. Literally within hours of me setting it up last year, Lily decided to put cardboard in it. Oh, lovely. 
Look, Mummy, I'm making soup. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, I ended up having to flood the fucking garden to empty the damn thing. Um, clean it all out, then refill it. I was like, you little shit. That's kids for you. I was like, you bastard. You can put anything else in that damn pool. Just don't put fucking cardboard. We've all done it. Girl. Just wait until one of them has a shit in it. <laughs> I've got chlorine tablets for that shit, don't worry. <laughs> you see, when up here there used to be a swimming pool and uh, the guy who ran it used to be a bit of a twat times and he could put this stuff in and as soon as anybody had a piss the water would turn purple round them. Yeah, so I like, know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> the room's like, you dirty bastard, you've had a piss. <laughs> yeah. It's uh... fucking brilliant. Yeah, no, I've got chlorine tablets for it, and then I'll get an old, old bed sheet, double oh. bed sheet, and I cover it over every night so that way I haven't got to keep refilling it the following day. All right. And it stops all the bugs and shit getting in it. Yeah. It does that. It does that. Because oh. where I put it, there's a tree that overhangs, and obviously right. everything falls off the fucking tree at night, doesn't it? Yeah. And, um, yeah, it fell in the pool last year, and I was like, nah, I ain't having this. And that's when I could crack out a bed sheet. <sighs> Sounds like somebody's tired. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Shut up. <laughs> Hot. We're laying today. Hey, not much of one, man. Well, no, that's thanks to work, bastards. Was nearly seeded this field. I am not nice. good. Hope I don't have to freaking roll it. This top corner, and then that'll be it done just about. Right at this corner as well. You know what I did? Yes, you did. One more strip, and that'll be it done. Jeez. 
And there we go. That's that field seeded with sunflowers. Do that this weekend with the kids. Uh, Do the flowers. Let's check something. Oh, yes, I will have to. I'm not doing it tonight, but needs rolling. I'll do that through the week. Hey. Go and clean the beast of a machine. Put it away. And that'll be the stream done, I think. Freaking numb nuts. Hey. Well, I've done what I needed to do, ish. Then it would take that lot to friggin' plow that field though. And part this up. Harvest is in. We don't have any fields ready to harvest. Which is a good thing, I need logging this admin, don't I? Yeah. Otherwise, um, shit, the cops look. Joseph getting old. Uh, that one. That one. That one. There we go. Right, let's save this bugger. Otherwise well, it'll be a waste hour and a half. Okay folks, thanks to the millions and millions of viewers joining in the chat again. Not. Um next week we'll have it all work in Soul Fusion. We'll hopefully be able to join with. Um it's probably a daft mod I freaking downloaded and installed. I'd screw it up. But um, tomorrow I'll be doing my little farm. I'm trying to replicate what Fusion's done. It's teaching me well. It's freaking like Obi Wan Kenobi, or whatever it's freaking called. <laughs> Is that the right word? Obi Wan Kenobi. Who's Grasshopper? Grasshopper. Grasshopper was a pupil. Who was the teacher? A karate kid. Mr. Miyagi. Mr. Miyagi. Mr. Miyagi, that's a chucky. So Mr. Miyagi's been teaching me well. <coughs> what was it? Rub on, rub off. 
I'll do that quite well, actually. Anyway, let's not go there. Oh, was it wax on wax off? I thought that was rub on. Well, what? Anyway, um, let's not go there. So, folks, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.